you Days of Our Lives fans, welcome to After Buzz TV's Dishin Days, where we give you a full recap of your favorite soap opera, Days of Our Lives. I'm your host, Tony Moore, and I am joined by my chocolate twin. <laughs> we have... James Law Jr. Hi, guys. And as you guys know, Mark J. Freeman is on a journey <laughs> to become the next Mrs. Billy Flynn. But while he's away, we have a special guest host filling in for Mark. We have the Michael Fairman. The oh, Michael oh, Fairman. Oh, all right. And by the way, I, like I have that. a bromance with Billy Flynn, too. Oh, uh, okay. so Mark. Ooh. Oh, those you are, don't know. Those are fighting words. They are fighting words. Does Mark know that? No, well, he knows that, <laughs> but Billy does. Well, <laughs> well, let me tell you who does not have a bromance with Billy Flynn. Me. Yeah, he hasn't been bitten. Hmm. Hasn't been bitten. I'm the only one who hasn't been bitten by the Billy Flynn bug. <laughs> so Billy, true. Billy, yes. you're doing good. You yeah. have you have Mark. You the have Michael, Michael. Fairman and the Mark. Yeah, I'm kind of there, yes. so of course can't help him. Yeah. No, no, you're there. I'm you're there. there. I'm there. You know I'm who's there. not there? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Dissension <laughs> among the ranks. I know. I it's it. always <laughs> good. It is always good. It's always good. It's always good. And as you guys know, Mark is in uh, Niagara Falls for the Flint at the Falls event. But of course, Mark always pulls through and he has sent us this little video. So check it out. Hello, Tony and James. Hello from Niagara Falls. I have some friends here with me who want to say hello. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hello, After Buzz. We miss you. Michael Fairman, do me justice. We'll see you next <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tony. We need more Tony, belly love me. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So I will let. Uh, Mark do I need to? Do I need to put my hair up like Mark? Oh my God! There's, <laughs> there's no way that you can put justice. Your, yeah. You, there's no way you can put your hair up as, as high as, yeah. as Mark. Yeah. I think he has I think his own he, Twitter page with the hair. Oh my God! He does. He has right. Twitter he page. He does. Living oh for God. the hair. That's his Twitter page on Twitter. Right. That is. And speaking of social media, we hope that you guys have liked us and follow us on our social media play, page, Dish and Days. If you guys get us up to 1,900 likes on Facebook and 500 followers on Instagram, we will do another giveaway That's so right. uh, make sure you get your friends and fellow days folks to like our stuff so that we can bring you more info and links to all the things that are happening here on Dish and Days um, so let's get right into it because I'm really excited to talk about this week it's time to start Dish and Days okay oh you're doing oh I'm doing oh, you're doing yeah you do it Mark this is for you <laughs> <laughs> and my bromance with Billy Flynn oh my god I feel like it is a fight to the death I hope so daggers I hope it is and speaking Speaking of uh, death, oh god, the best way I can put it, we go, we're just going to start off with the storyline that really was very sad this week. We I mean, just completely sad, and that's Eve Page, well, Ghost Page, ghost Eddie. Page. I said Ghost Page, Eddie. I mean, Teresa. I mean, this whole storyline, it basically was Page's funeral, but leading up to it. I yeah. mean, Eve just really. Cassie DePiva is just working me to death. She is she, so. Did you good. cry? I did actually. Okay. Did, did you did. cry? I didn't cry. Cassie's amazing. Yes, oh, completely. Um, you know the one thing that I had, I struggled with, and I and I just say this is it's very hard because I was never really invested in the character okay. of Paige. Mm -hmm. So it's like okay, you know, like we're yeah, all yeah. mourning yeah, over yeah. this character. Cassie's, you know, acting up a storm mm -hmm. and all of that. I think she's brilliant. Um, but you know, it's hard because Paige was never like you know. Yes, I agree. One of the attention grabbing yes, characters. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Um, and we've seen on other shows when they brought back a ghost. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the mourning people are the mother and the father, yes. like seeing her, or, you know, we've seen that before. Yeah. That being said, I thought Cassie was great. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, for me, I'm cry I, I cried. To answer what I cried at is basically Cassie's performance. I believe uh, with you, <laughs> I wasn't all well, a huge Paige fan either. I wasn't that invested either, but. She makes me believe it. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I mean, with the no, like, no makeup. Well, the no doing... makeup was great because even with the no makeup, she's so, oh, so pretty. So and I love, and I thought she actually looked so great in the black dress going to the funeral. Yeah, she mm -hmm. looked great. <sighs> I know. Um, you know who else though? I have to. I'll tell you who really moved me. Okay. And I and Cassie did too. So I just want to say that Cassie did by the fans. Yes. <laughs> but I really loved Casey Moss. Yes. It was so subtle, so little bits, and he that kind of broke me up a little bit. Yeah. Him. Um, yeah. He didn't have that much to do, though. No, he didn't. And I kept thinking there would be like a big scene between, unless I missed it, between Eve and 
JJ. They didn't have it. They had a, it was a small thing. But it, it was, was like, a, well, the, well, the, the, the big blow up was oh, yeah. after, afterwards, after the funeral. <laughs> yeah. And she like totally went off on him. But yeah. like, even still, he still kind of kept his composure. Right, he kept his still, composure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I saw I don't know. I, I don't know if this bothered you guys, but I don't, I don't know how I felt about like the sunglasses at the funeral. Like I don't know why I paid so much attention to that. Me. I, I have so to much. tell you, I thought of the same thing. Oh, okay. yeah. I thought, I thought, okay, what about what's the deal with the sunglasses at the funeral? Yeah. And then I thought, is the sunglasses at the funeral because as this character, he's you know he's hiding he's his so tears. Cool that's what he's, he's, he's no, he's hiding his tears. And yeah. he's, maybe that's a thought. I did. So then I didn't hate it so much, but I, I thought that was also it, it was it was something that seemed like. And it taking away attention from yeah. what was going on. Because he was like the only person, and as they panned over everyone, like there he is, you know, the most. I guess the sunglasses to me felt like he was the most mournful and the most, the, the one who's trying to hide it the most. But, I, and I was just like, mm, I wanted to reach in and go, can you just take those off? Just for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just for me. It didn't bother me. That didn't bother me. So. Didn't, no, no, I thought, I mean, I I did feel that way yeah, for a moment. Funny, uh, but, I, but I did think that Casey actually was really good. It was underplayed. I felt mm-hmm. so bad. He was trying to protect his mother. Mm-hmm. Like, all of that stuff. He's he's really good. Yeah, yeah he was. He's yeah. really good, and I actually wanted to see more of him. Yeah, well, actually. I've always think that I've always thought that Casey Moss is a great actor. Anyway, I just thought he was a good yeah. find. He's a good find. I always yeah. thought he was. So they actually gave him something meaty, so to speak. Even though, like I said, it was understated, but it was still meaty enough. Like, oh yeah, he can do some stuff. I'm waiting for him to have a blow up, though. That's oh, yeah. what I wanted. I yeah. wanted him to. Uh, there's got to be coming up. Yeah. I would think something where because he has not really fallen apart. No, and we had the we had Cassie like. Eve throwing herself over the cas- <laughs> right. casket. Right. Uh, so we've seen that before, yeah. you know, on a soap. Of course. She did it great. She did yeah. a good job. Uh, but we've seen that before. I kind of wanted to see what JJ would do. Right. Yeah. That's kind of just what I was, for some reason. Well, just because he's he's putting so much blame on himself, mm-hmm. too. You know, mm-hmm. saying how he shouldn't have told Paige everything that was happening. And, and now, and of course, he still blames Clyde for the death. But mm-hmm. we all know that that's it's not Clyde. At least that's what we know of right now. But for me, the moments were some of the smaller moments. Mm -hmm. A lot of Teresa and Eve... I was like, I, I have to tell you, the Teresa stuff really bugged me. I'm oh, sorry. Too. Okay, totally. I, 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 bugged I, me too. Okay. It bugged <laughs> me big time. Mm-hmm. Sorry, Days man. <laughs> uh, I hope you agree with me. Um, it really bugged me. Like the, it just took me out of it. Like I just didn't want to hear Teresa going. Nah, nah, nah. You know, it took me out of the the drama and the sadness of it. Yeah. It didn't make me feel anything. But like, please stop talking so we could go back to the morning. But like, see, for me, it, it felt like that, that's I, what happens in real life. Kind of people I, will annoy I, you, right? Yeah, yeah, so maybe I was kind of like, want, I agree. Yeah, definitely. I yeah. agree. I guess I was so wanting to go with the sadness of the thing. I didn't yeah. want her to be interloper into that. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, that was my thought. I think what bothered me about Teresa was still the plan on how I can, like, be sad <laughs> during this and get Brady. Like, that's what was bothering me. I hated me. that. Like, like even even during the, the, and she, like, the turns, funeral. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, even even during the funeral, days faces, everyone. <laughs> days faces. Hashtag make days faces. I don't I don't know if you guys noticed this during the funeral, but like she laid her head down on Brady, yeah. and then she went like sorry, and I was like, it's during the funeral. Stop trying to get his attention. Like leave it alone for just, like two seconds. I just think she can't help herself. No, I mean, but listen. I, but I think part of her does care about Eve, and Eve, she even said to her later, "I love you." But I thought when she picked out the dress in the beginning was kind of sweet. Yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, there's moments that I liked. I didn't. I yeah. just didn't like in the middle of this. I like get it. it was like you know Brady like. I think the point of it was for Brady to be like, "Wow, Teresa, that's what it did. Yeah. you really can step up to it when, what, right?" Yeah, that's what it was. That's totally what it was. But I'm is all, he that stupid? No, no. I mean, yes. Can, yeah. yes, it's days. Like, yeah, I right. mean, every, everyone's not Love not the days, brightest. Man. You know, <laughs> they're gonna kill you. Um, no, I, I, no, I, I do think the funeral. I was very sad. Yes, I thought Cassie was great. I thought uh, Casey was great. Yes, I love a Martinez. Yes, oh, he's he's starting to be just this interesting figure that's yes. floating around Salem. Yes, he he is. I mean, as an actor, because I loved him on Santa Barbara and LA Law and stuff. But he brings a different kind of man to Salem. Like he's not a Stefano in any kind of them. He's not a Clyde. Well, first of all, he's just another man in <laughs> Salem. <laughs> thank God, because there's not not that many around. <laughs> you know what I. 
he came into the show in the few weeks he's been on, and mm-hmm. he and he's I mean like every scene I've seen him in, he's cap he's captivated the scene. He's yeah. took the scene. He rivets you. He makes you want to watch what he does. He's you know his it's in his eyes. The emotion yes. behind it. Whatever he's doing, I want to see him on the show. Yeah. He's one of the finest actors. A knows what I think about him. And yeah. um, I've loved his scene. The one thing that I thought Uh-oh. was so awkward. <laughs> Yes. Was not a was the very end episode when the camera crew came in. Yeah. Now, as somebody in the media, <laughs> you do not just go go. Like I was like, yeah, I was I know, like, it's weird. I'm like, what are they doing? I know, like, like wouldn't you say we're here to do your thing, Mister right. L- Larson? Larson, I don't know where he's going by now. And and all of a sudden they're like, okay, go. <laughs> And it I was is. like, that's really weird. That was weird to it me. It was weird. It, it, well, the whole thing was kind of weird. That was weird to me. Yeah. Yeah, but that had nothing to do with A. That no, had no, to do no, with no, that no, weird no. setup of getting him to... And I'm sorry, you just have enough pool to where you can just call the news crew and say, hey, I want to make an announcement, and the, they just come flooding well, in. Well, they're like, go. Yeah. yeah. Again, <laughs> make a phone call. But this whole weekend, I make phone calls and things happen. The best reaction was Rafe. And he was looking like... The hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm really big on reaction. You are. No, Raven's reaction was it was just kind of like that. Well, that's the same reaction he's had at the board, which we'll go into in a little bit. Uh, he's the same reaction. I do think it's really interesting, you guys. I don't know what you thought about this. I was laughing because you know the whole thing with, um, which I know we're going to talk about, Aiden mm-hmm. and the hundred thousand dollars was that was that when they did. Uh, uh, um, Eduardo, he's got all oh, yeah, for hundred thousand dollars. Like, what's his magic number for hundred thousand dollars? That's that's been this this whole oh, week. Hundred thousand dollars. Aiden needed a hundred thousand dollars to get out of debt. Um, who else needed a oh, hundred thousand dollars? person between those two needed to. Um, oh, Chad. Chad yes. went and stole hundred thousand dollars, and then uh, no. A said a hundred thousand dollars. Was that a through line or just like they couldn't think right. of a number? It's, I don't. Know. They're just kind of like so that we don't confuse anyone. We're just going to keep one number all the way through, and but Salem is wonderful because they just have easy access to a hundred thousand dollars. Clearly. I mean, I want $100,000, too, but apparently I would have to, like, win the lottery in order to get that. I mean, I have 100,000 pennies, <laughs> but not dollars. No. No. I now, don't have I had a problem. I, don't, okay, I had a problem of my own. What's that? And that was Jennifer going to the funeral. I'm sorry. You had a problem with Jennifer I did. going to the funeral? I had a problem with her being at the funeral. I had a problem with Daniel comforting her. I had a problem with her trying to comfort Eve. They're not friends. They're not, but it's, it's it's like that. For me, it was kind of like one of those things where her and Paige were were close until she fucked, screwed her over. Things screwed like over. hit the fan. Yes, but I feel like as a mom, you just have this feeling of like you put that to the side, no matter what your differences are or how you hate someone. You I just would do it. like you just kind of want to. You don't have that much hate in your heart to not comfort someone who has completely lost their child. That's why she's going to heaven. I had mixed feelings about it. <laughs> Did you? Uh, my first thought was how James felt about yeah. it. I thought this is so ridiculous. They mm-hmm. hate each other's guts. Right. Eve hates Jennifer. Yeah, they Jennifer. hate each other. Why would she do it? Then we can go on the theory right. that Jennifer liked Paige. Paige. Yes. Then you could go, okay, well, they're two moms, so... And then it's also always good on a soap opera, remember this, always good on a soap <laughs> opera to have people that hate each other come together exactly. in a time of need. Exactly. I mean, that's what they usually do, mm-hmm. so they did that, which gave it some drama. Yes. And then you throw Dr. Daniel into it. and yes. that I think is, that's when it got weird. That's when yeah. it got ridiculous. It's mm-hmm. like, why is he there? Yeah. I thought he was there to support J.J., Right. Because okay. didn't they, but, wasn't that always yeah. Yeah. So I thought there yeah. was going to be a moment, again, a missed opportunity, mm-hmm. I felt, with J.J. and Dr. Daniel mm-hmm. to talk about how J.J.'s feeling. Yes. Mm-hmm. But that didn't. didn't happen. And people are agreeing with you online. They're just like, yeah, they like, more J- where's more J.J.? This one more J.J. More J.J., yeah. I thought, and also I thought it was weird with Daniel. Like, yeah. I agree with you yeah. on that. But I do, and I, I do want to say that I also understand hoping that those scenes between Eve and Jennifer would play to the mothers and right, but putting really aside does. our differences. But it's hard. I mean, Eve's been horrible to Jennifer. I know. I yeah. thought, that's what I mean. It's like, yeah, I mean, but, I'm, but it's Jennifer. Jennifer sees Jennifer her better than anyone. She does. It's Jennifer Rose. So, of course, she's going to go to Eve and oh, say, Jennifer I just wanted Rose. to check on you. <laughs> okay, but how about the... To hold her hand. Jennifer, right. How about the future Paige scenes <laughs> on what Paige's life could have been had she not been killed by the necktie killer? Now, I was kind of, There were times where... Like, I was kind of confused mm-hmm. as to, like, especially in the beginning. Like, what's going on? I was like, what's Paige doing there? And then it started being, like, Eve is having these moments of, like, what Paige's life could have been like if she'd still been around. 
And I don't know. I kind of appreciated that approach. Okay. I guess. Again, Hello. we're not so into Paige so much. I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like we know Eve. I mean, she, she, they gave her enough scenes that we know she's devastated. Yeah. I mean, they're giving her enough scenes to, yeah. to promote that. She's devastated. So, so, the, so the Young and the Restless uh, actually did this best when Billy Miller, yeah. who was then playing Billy Abbott, yeah. was thinking about what Delia would be like growing yeah. up. And it was like this whole episode of that. And it was so moving as you it watched was. her grow and grow into different. She was dead. And they're actually taking, you know, what would it be like? Her reaction, she grew into adult and she got married and she had a baby. So what this felt like just didn't work for me mm-hmm. um, because it just felt like I've, like I said a, a thing I've seen before yeah, and yeah. I know and I and I and again I, I get it and it is heart it is heartbreaking the theory yeah. of it I just didn't yeah. feel it was necessary. I agree too. I feel like it added to Eve and how she Eve yes and how okay. she was feeling and and, yes. and that okay. feeling of like you know, not only being alone, but losing her child and, and realizing that her child was so young that these are the experiences okay. that she's not, that she's going to miss out on. Mm-hmm. The fact that she could have been a Stanford graduate, the fact that she could have been a loving wife and a loving mother, and and the fact that they could have gotten along together. What about the fact that she, like, screwed her boyfriend for, like, I so know. long? I mean, it's such Listen, a horrible, in, horrible thing. <laughs> that isn't, like, I thought that she would mind, go at it, like, what did we do to her? <laughs> in Eve's mind, that was water under the bridge. Okay. <laughs> but she did say when she was, like, when she was in her throes of, a- of sadness, she was like, my daughter died hating me. Yeah. And Jen, That's a powerful statement. And Jen did try to reassure her yeah. that, but, but <laughs> I don't know. But I, Jen, was, I don't, I, Jen I, I, didn't I, need to reassure her. It's true. Her daughter did. Yeah, I hate right, her. Well, yeah. But then it was it was kind of like, uh, no, 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 no. She she didn't hate you. She would have gotten over it in time. Like I don't know if you guys yeah, caught yeah, that yeah, in yeah, time. Yeah, part. yeah, yeah. It wasn't like no, no, no. Like Paige and I had a conversation. She doesn't hate you. No, it was like in time. Like, it was almost kind of like a slap in the face. It was like no, no, no. She would have gotten over it in time. In time. If she lived, <laughs> right? yeah, exactly. she lived. Like it would have been fine. And, yeah. the, and the other part of storyline is interesting is this: you know, a Martinez character Eddie coming in mm-hmm. and instantly mourning a loss of a daughter that he didn't really wasn't close to. And he comes back to town. He's also confronted with another daughter who doesn't even know he exists, Gabby. Who I'm so happy to have see them working together again. They're on life to live as father and daughter, mm-hmm. and so it's good to see them again. But like he's dealing with that, and Rafe is just like, he's just like, what are you doing here? Eve's like, what are you doing? Like they're like, what are you doing here? But I feel like Rafe should not be a wall between Gabby and uh, her dad. Like I feel like she, I feel like Rafe needs to be an adult and say, <laughs> this is your father, and make her. Either want to get to know him or say, I don't want him in my life. He hasn't been there. So now I feel like we've already established and we've seen enough scenes of Rafe saying to Eduardo, you're not going to get anywhere with this. (laughs) Right? So I kind of feel like we've seen that scene. Now can we move on from that scene? We get, I've established the problem that these two don't get, you know. So now can we go past that and and work on whatever? Because there's there's been a lot of that yeah yeah in yeah. a very short time or to, yeah. at, least, at least to yeah. me i just i i think that what i've loved about days with the writing change is that they've been moving story oh, yeah, mm-hmm. have, yeah. so i want them to continue to move story yeah you know yeah. but i do give on the devil's advocate being oh, angry at your here father you come. here i come being angry at your dad oh yeah for leaving you and coming back and he wants to protect his sister it's his whole whole job his whole life was to protect his family and he didn't do a great job ariana's dead dario's in argentina somewhere. but don't you think that his that his that <laughs> camilla banis um <laughs> that that what's her name? What's her name? <laughs> what's her name? What's her name? Come that, girl. Girl. That, that girl. That girl. That girl. Oh, that girl needs that to learn that that guy is her father. <laughs> I I think so. I think so. I I think that she should be given <laughs> Gabby, the choice. Gabby, ladies Gabby, and gentlemen. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. She Gabby, should be Gabby. given the choice of whether or not to get to know this man or Correct. not. Correct. And she can make her own decisions. She, if she can. wants him. That's it. Because I mean, look at you want to talk about people and their track records. We already had Nicole spill out Kate's track record. Let's talk record. about Rafe. You just been. <laughs> Him. Yeah, he Dario him. is somewhere in Argentina. No yeah. one knows where he is. Um, or he's dead. Dead. So, yeah. Rafe, are you doing a good job? <laughs> that's, that's are true you doing too. a good job protecting your 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 relatives, siblings? Your siblings? Yeah, no. that's true too. I guess. So, yeah. let let her figure it out. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure they're gonna find out anyway. Of course, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah. 
Well, uh, I hope that doesn't go on for too long. I hope, hope Gabby did, learns yeah. that this is her dad. Well, just keep the question is, on how things. is she going to learn that this is a father? Is it going to come from Rafe, or is it going to come from another random run-in in Horton Town Square? <laughs> can you get that for me, please? That thing. <laughs> you're, I know you're way over there, but can you get that little that little thing over there for me? Right. Mm, that was a week ago. Was I mean, I would like to point out that I walk around Horton Town Square all the time. No one asked me to pick up anything. I know. You could have got how, it for How it. is it over in Horton Town Square? <laughs> Um, you know, I've been to Horton Town Square. Depending on the day, it's very lovely. Uh, there's not a lot of people, and it's always a good day for shopping. You're always shopping. Yeah. Don't try to get yogurt, though, because every time I go, the yogurt place okay. is not open. All right. The <laughs> <laughs> yogurt place is not open. Anybody in there? there? Anybody in there? Hello. Um, so moving on to Carolyn, Victor, Maggie, and Kayla. Kayla. Okay, so Carolyn. <sighs> And this mansion. I kept thinking of you the whole time. I kept okay. thinking the whole time. And Sean. <laughs> I did. I thought I'd tell you the whole time. Like, here's the, here, here's the thing is that, like, all of a sudden, you know, it's not Alzheimer's. It's it's a brain thing. Yeah. And Victor, Victor is all-knowing in Salem, obviously. <laughs> he knows a lot of things as, you know, people are catching up to him. But the fact that Carolyn gets dressed, yes. goes to this mansion, goes to the mirror, and then he appears, and it's, it's not like... It's it, it's just a it's just a picture of him, right. by the way. And now in this scene, I I think she I think we were where she was. It's like okay, what are you trying to tell us? Like is she is she about to die? Is are you trying to deliver a message? Right. And she has this whole thing yeah. of like I'm not ready, and why she's not ready, and she names all her children, sure and did. then she for some reason cannot remember Kayla. I know that's what I know. It's funny, Kayla, the ones could remember. Like I don't like I don't know what's going. Well, she didn't recognize. To be fair, she didn't recognize Maggie when she got into the hall. She didn't recognize Maggie and Hope either. But she didn't recognize Kayla, her daughter, and the nice man, and the nice man, um, the nice but, man. But, oh, the nice man that she. Ooh, when Victor, <laughs> and you saw when she walked when she got up from the chair, she's like, when I Victor, like you. Yeah, when Victor came up, her whole demeanor changed. She, was she like, likes him. She this likes him. Man. She like she likes him. Like, let me grab your arm. <laughs> she, she likes him. But here's what I, I there's there was a moment in this that uh, caught me. Okay. Uh, was <laughs> I felt like I was watching geriatric days for a minute. It was it was um, Caroline Caroline Caroline. Oh, sorry. Oh, my they go, God. They go, they go, I think go, I'm geriatric. They go Caroline back time. Caroline. You know, they had that moment with her looking in the mirror and mm-hmm. Sean was there. And then they cut to Stefano with his oxygen thing. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on on this show? Intergenerational. I mean, but it's like, what's happened to my favorite veteran characters? You know, she's like freaking out and he's like inhaling oxygen. It was just a cut from it that was, to yeah. that. I was like, oh my God, what's going on on this show? Or how about Julie being on the phone to Kayla and explaining to her oh, that Caroline okay. is like there. And then Caroline being in the background going, I'm not going. It's not my time. And she did she do like, it? I'm not my time. I, I, I feel like that was thrown in there. No, she did. She, she did. did. She she did. did. See? <laughs> and I was just like, Poor, that's one of those, you know, I'm Southern. Bless her heart. That's one of those bless, bless her, her heart, bless her heart yes. moments. But I, I just didn't understand this. Like, our uh, we went through the whole Alzheimer's thing. Yes, yes. Know, right. And I thought that was a really great, important me story too, to keep too. telling. Mm-hmm. To keep telling. Because she doesn't have to get it tomorrow. I mean, it can go on for. I mean, th- I mean, there are people dealing with this. Right. And families yeah. dealing right. with this. Yeah. And I thought that was going to be the story. I agree. So obviously, they're changing that. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there's some mystery disease with. I can't wait to see Dr. Salinas in action. But, I know, you know, like, from oh, Peru. But, but he's only flown in so thus far and got a good meal and headed to the yeah, hospital. He goes, he, make him some dinner and we'll be right back. We'll be like, right over. <laughs> I was like, what was that? Yeah, so I don't know. How do you feel about it? I mean, do you like the fact, that obviously, without her we're having, not having Alzheimer's, and do you like the mysterious thing better, or what do you guys think? What's see, I don't, I don't know because I feel like with the transition of the new writers, there are all these things that are changing. Right. You know, we were, for this whole time, we've been going in one direction, and now all of a sudden it's like, yes. So, as a fan, I just sit with my arms open and say, (laughs) give me whatever it is that you want to give me, Mm -hmm. and I will determine whether or not I truly want to believe it. So I'm just I'm just want to see what's going to happen with the doctor and with this whole disease and what's going to happen and I mean I hope that they don't like 
kill her off. Well, you know, the fans on here, like, they're all in agreement that Peggy's doing great work. They're happy to see her working, obviously. Yes, I mean, yes. She's a phenomenal she's doing actress. A, a fantastic job. I mean, they're all, I mean, everybody, I'm seeing it, everybody's talking about it. We they, love they, Peggy McKay. Yeah, she's amazing. Yes. No, she's yes. amazing, and so it's great, but it's funny. I <laughs> wish they continued the Alzheimer's storyline. I'm with, I'm with you on that. I'm kind of disappointed they didn't just played out, but I know they're trying to tie it in with Bo somehow. No, they're, yeah, I, I, mean, try, what I mean, obviously they're tying in with Bo. That's going to be a big yeah, thing. Yeah. Obviously, with if she's in this condition, yeah. and Bo getting back to Salem, yeah. right? That's yeah. obviously mm-hmm. a key part of right. this, which right. is probably what they wanted to set up. Right. Right? Um, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, I, I just feel like there's so many, like, dots, and I'm just ready for them to start kind of connecting. connecting him. Now I have a question, because I actually met him in real life years ago, Frank Parker. Is he still alive, or is he not acting anymore? I mean, because I wonder why I didn't just bring him back and have him play the ghost. They're showing old scenes of him. <laughs> it's going to be kind of <laughs> well, weird. That, I mean, it's weird. That's what I wonder, too. I was, I'm like, I was like, well, it would have been nice if they said, oh, come in for a day, yeah, just do, just, like, yeah, some smiles, sure. right. or, you know, something, so that we don't keep having to use a still from way <laughs> yeah, back so in the day. We're looking like we're, like we're here. Yeah, because um, yeah, I've met him on a plane a couple times a few years ago, and he was great. Didn't great he guy. die on a plane? <laughs> the character? <laughs> he did. Oh, he did. Oh, oh, so wait, did, oh yeah. they... In real life, they not, real, not in real life, not in real life, but in on the he show. died on the plane, yeah. Yeah. didn't he? And Bo was like, "Pop, pop. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah." Oh, I remember that. But I just wonder if he was alive. I just wonder if he was alive in real life, or he's just maybe he's not acting, or, or <clears> just <throat> for because you know you tend to remember people as they were, yeah. so maybe they went with oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Because okay. they couldn't okay. necessarily like because I'm sure he doesn't look the same. So That's true. They couldn't okay. like, That's true. you know, be like, "Oh, look, here I am," and it's like, "Oh, is that what you look like in heaven?" Like, <laughs> what's his buzzword? I'm melting. Oh, are you melting? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm yeah, melting. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm melting. In a, in a little bit, we're going to just have to, like, splash water. Uh, <laughs> you have no on idea how hot it is on these So that way. Oh, right. Miss Jenna, uh, 1211 says, I think Frank is still alive, but I think he's sick. Oh. I think so, too. Yeah, I think so, too, actually. And that was the same with Tanya Boy, too, when they brought back <gasps> Celeste. I know. That was oh. Celeste did not work, sorry. I loved, I loved Tanya Boy. Tanya Boy was a bomb. I love Tanya Boy. Yes. Oh, darling. So... <laughs> So yeah, so basically, um, Kayla and Victor fight. They actually, I love having seen them together fighting over her treatment because she's yeah. like, "No, we're not doing any experimental treatments." And he's like, "But this could help her. Let's yeah. do it." So they had their butting head. I kind of like their butting heads because you never yeah. see Kayla and Stefano together doing anything. But Kayla, was, Stephano, Victor, Victor, or anything. but Kayla was like, she wanted to know. Yeah, she wanted to know. She's a doctor. She wants to know what's going on. Yeah. It's her mother. It's her mother. And listen, you can't you can't look at Caroline in the face and like say, "Oh no, you're fine." She's like, "No, I wanted." She said right. she wanted to know. Right, I know. So I'm curious to see what they do. Kind of do you think? Do you think? What do you think's gonna happen with Victor and Maggie since he's paying so much attention to Caroline? I love it. I love it. I feel like right now Maggie is very understanding. She is a little too much. But but I'm wondering. You always get that sense of like. <sighs> This bitch, like here she goes again. Like I, I sense that from yeah. her sometimes. I do too. Like yeah, like, Maggie. Oh, yeah. you're, you cow. How yeah, you yeah, yeah. Like, right. yeah. It's like it's like oh, you obviously still love her, but I'm just gonna stand here and smile and nod like the good wife. <laughs> right. One of the things I was very excited about though this week was and I was really worried about this bicentennial thing. Yes. I'll tell you why. I was worried about it because when they said it was gonna be this like period piece from you know, I just didn't want to see a masquerade ball from the eighteen nineties. Right. Right. Yeah. But I was actually loving the fact that they changed it to a sixties thing. Yes. Which was Madden. so yeah. great with the show starting in the sixties. 60s. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so clever. clever. That I can see being fun yeah. to watch. Yeah. I agree. You know what I mean? Everybody looking With mad men esque in the costumes. Oh, yeah. I, I was just so worried when they were talking about this before. It was the like, I don't want to see an 1890s bicentennial ball. Yeah. So that was kind of good. Yeah. I'm yes, looking forward to that now. I see you. I just, I just get a sense that this bicentennial is going to be like. Some the ball is gonna a few balls are gonna drop. Oh, yeah, oh it's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. 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 hopefully classic balls are gonna I, I hope I, they've got to if they step up the game like they're doing yes. mm-hmm. and they deliver the show I Every think, day I want I think anniversary happen. week will be great yes I agree but it's gotta I, it has to have the ball right yeah. Yeah. yeah and we were promised the reveal of the murderer to the to Salem people will know yeah oh, is people what they promised do. okay the people in the town will know who all the, the people murderer, in the town because right? we know right now right yeah because yeah. we know okay right yeah. right 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 yeah right. You know what, someone... Well, no, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> and so that leads us into chat, Abigail and Ben. Uh, he's like, look, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, Let's, shall we go to the murder board? We're going to go to the murder, murder board. board. Yeah, let's go to the murder board. Oh, oh my God, oh, I'm oh, still, like, all connected. Oh, there you go. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. 
Okay. Wait, am I there? Yep, you're here. Okay. There you go. All right. Can we? Can people see this? Can they? I think they can see it. How can they? Can they see it, James? Can you guys see it, you guys? Can you see him at the board? Please tell me right now. Yes. Okay. So, for just for review's sake. Yes. Let's. Um, so Michael Fairman will be playing Ray Fernandez. Let me show you. At the Salem PD, <laughs> standing in front of the evidence board with Chad, Chad. as our prime suspect. We have uh, information about Serena's death, which napkin? Oh, the napkin, yes, and cut then his cut, his cut on the lip, yes, Page. and then Paige, new uh, murder victim coming, new, yep, they have one coming on next Friday, and then Marlena being the attempted murder. The point of this is, guys, do you yes. guys agree that on the show all we see is everybody just staring at the board? Everyone staring at the board, kind of like this, and then nothing happens from it. Yeah, it's like. Rafe stares at it all day. Yes. I think Hope has looked, take a look at it. And now Lonnie. Lonnie, after she was staring at the new, mm. she stared at it too. But no one is coming up with anything, and everyone just keeps blaming everything on Chad. They all love the stick figure. Everybody's like, I, sexy I stick figure. I do this. <laughs> they're I'm all, they're all saying it. Everyone, Chad. please give a big round of applause to Michael Fitton yeah, and right his, home. his I artistic ability. <laughs> I cannot draw anything. <laughs> but actually, I think this board looks better. Than the board, than the board that they TV have, because it's so messed up. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and what about Lonnie? Yes. Well, can we can we mention how? First of all, they have this evidence board yeah. that's always out. Everyone is always making visits right. to Salem and PD. Like this. Yeah. And then um, uh, Eduardo, yes. Eddie comes okay. in, oh, right. and then Justin's like. I don't think you should be seeing this. I'm like, well, everyone else who is coming to the Salem PD is taking a look at it. Let yeah, him look yeah, at yeah, it, too. Yeah, yeah, why not? Maybe he can figure something out. Right, exactly. You guys, have you guys know who the next murder suspect is? No. no. Do you know already? Do you know you already, Michael know? Fairman? I don't know. Let's. Uh, we have predictions for that. We, yeah. What are they saying? Oh, okay, okay. Good yeah. work, Michael. That's what Emma Rudd said. Love the stick figure. Look at your guns, Michael. That's what someone said to you. Uh oh, check uh, out those guns. That was L nineteen fifty one. Look at the guns. Okay. 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 So let's talk about this this Chad Abigail Ben uh, storyline since we have gone over all the evidence. Yes. Oh, and Carolyn says. Uh, Carolyn Trouble says, "Bravo, Michael. You're better than the Salem PD." <laughs> I think a lot of people are probably better than the the Salem yes, PD. Yes, I think so too. So we have Chad like hiding out in yes. uh, in the Kiriakis fish thing. Yes, yeah, some fish. Um, I almost say cat, not cat, but like cabin, 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 fish, fish cabin. cabin yes. yes. Okay, so first off, Chad escapes through yes. the tunnels of. The Demera mansion yes. because the Demeras have tunnels all yeah. throughout Salem. Yeah, it's like how do you get there and leave one fish hook yeah, no. that Justin finds? Yes, and now they know where his whereabouts are. Right, Justin's acting like a jerk. He's kind of everybody me. agrees. People are agreeing. I don't know yep. what I don't know what it is. Why Justin is so there? There has to be something to that. Yeah, why? I feel so like he's hard. a little. I feel like. All of your years as an attorney, mm -hmm. and you're so quick to yes. say it's Chad, and why haven't you picked him up? And even at the funeral, yes. that that bugged me too. At the funeral, he was just like, you "Well, had you got Chad, this, it wouldn't happen, right?" Like, why would he do that? Right. That makes no sense. Isn't that just added because they needed to? Probably. I mean, they basically shifted the character into the DA position, right? Right. Well, so they needed to do. And they're also doing this whole. They're trying to do the whole Demira Kirakis thing too. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna said, put Justin down. Someone said Maxine's son. Let and me let me assure <laughs> you. Let me assure you, it is not Maxine's son. Maxine's son. <laughs> <laughs> let me draw Maxine's son. It is, really. <laughs> it, it is not I. That is, let me tell you, that is not the role I would want to have at all. What about these flashbacks that Ben is having of the murder? Every five minutes, though. But so such as woman, I hear about strangling. Come back, yes, yes, yes. Come, come back, come back. Here, let me. Thank you very much. I just wanted that, to make Michael. sure you all. <laughs> they all do. knew that. Well, they're all saying the next victim is Will. That's what they're all saying. So that oh, that Will might because uh, yes. they're saying that uh, Will's next victim. He. They're all saying it. Everybody's saying on Twitter. You all think saying Will's the next victim? That's what. That's what they're all saying. Well, let's what? talk about this for a minute. So okay. we saw. <laughs> sure. Wow. Well, sure, we not? saw on was it Friday's episode? Mm -hmm. uh, 
I just thought it was really interesting. First of all, I thought it was interesting that Guy Wilson, I mean, he couldn't talk that day. It yeah, sounded like he couldn't talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, they he made Ben made him his best man. Yes. So that is interesting. Yeah, I thought it was interesting, too, actually. Yeah. Um, Abigail's cousins, I guess. Like, that's fine. And he did. He is team Ben because he did tell Abigail, yeah. you know, Mary. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He still doesn't believe Chaz the killer, but he's like, hey, Ben's fine. Why not? <laughs> yeah. You know? you know what I mean? But if you look at kind of what they're building this to, it, unless we're being thrown off okay. with Alice and Sweeney coming back and yes. Freddie coming back yes. and all of that, that we know <laughs> yeah. that it would seem to be Will. Right. Unless we're all completely wrong. And that scream in the new promo, yeah. I just think that's a scream from okay. someone finding just the body. Okay, okay. That's yeah. my guess. Ooh. I don't know. I, I feel you like think it's Dr. Daniel? I, it could be because it just came out that he's he's confirmed to not be on the show anymore. Yeah. But then how? Here's the deal. Why would it has to be? It, it, ben is killing people that that are related to that that look that Chad could have killed. Yeah, yes. exactly. So I don't know. I feel like Chad has to come out of of the cabin, and we have to see who he interacts with this week. And then that will be the person who dies on Friday. Well, the thing also we have to remember, too, is that they said someone we love tied to a major family is going to die. But they also say someone unexpected, correct? Yeah, yeah. So, See, they're throwing out all this stuff to yeah. like, and listen, I feel very Salem PD right now because I'm staring at the I'm board like, my, I don't know. Okay, well, here, here, <laughs> my, if it, it, I don't know what the fans think, yeah. uh, but I, you know, I've been kind of watching Guy Wilson's Twitter. Oh. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm interested, you know, Guy's very into sports, so he's always treating about, but he, but, you know, he, he's been in every city. It's like he hasn't been in L.A. Oh. He seems to be have traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. so he, he's traveling a lot. He's not there. That's my, I think I'm better than Rafe. Yeah. You, right? listen. That's my well, people said you were. Folks are saying Dan can go. Dr. Harry Chess can go. People are like, bye. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mark J. Freeman is on that same boat. Yes, boat. he is. I think Dr. Daniel has run his course. Okay. I well, just yeah. think the character yeah, has yeah. run its course. Yeah. I it, this has nothing to do with Sean. This is Doctor Daniel. Yeah, Doctor Daniel. I, I have said for a while. Really, it's run its course. There's just no one to put him He's with, been with anymore. Everyone on the show just around, off and yeah. on. I mean, like from back in the day with Chelsea and unless Kate and unless them. they're gonna have him experiment and go with Paul. Hey. <laughs> so, what would you guys think if and what it, what if it is turns out to be Will? Okay. Um. This is this is what I would be upset about, and this is what I've been afraid of since okay. the new writers, okay. is that they have done such a wonderful job with the character of Will mm -hmm. and transitioning him and showing what he's going through to discover himself and realize that he's gay. And then we had the beautiful moments with him and Sonny. Then we had this beautiful wedding. And then, of course, like any couple, you hit a rough patch, mm -hmm. which they, they've hit. Mm -hmm. And now I feel like, if it is Will, this is their way of totally getting rid of that whole storyline. People talk about that already. They say that they're saying that the gay storyline is very lacking. And yeah, because we they're haven't seen about it. we haven't seen Paul. We've barely yep. seen Will. Uh, Sonny has left. So I feel like they're just going to do away with that storyline. And that is upsetting to me because they've done such a careful yeah. job with it, kind of easing fans into this storyline and easing them into this, and then to just suddenly get rid of it. I was, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. I was hoping, because you'll relate to this, I was hoping they were going to make him like a Bianca from All My Children, where he was kind of she was kind of the moral compass. She wasn't perfect, but she was kind of the moral compass and heart of the show, and she was a lesbian. I mean, they, we showed her carefully coming out and all that stuff, and, and she'd leave, come back, but they didn't kill her. Like, she always came on, and she got married on there. I mean, all these different things. I was hoping Will would be the same kind of legacy character where he comes from this big family, but also would stay on. You'd be surprised at, uh, at how many comments I get on my website uh, from people that have great disdain for the gay storyline. Oh, okay. And that they don't want to see the gay storyline. Oh, and they wow. don't want gays represented on TV. And it's it's really interesting to me okay. that there's so much of that. I think that, uh, to your point, mm -hmm. I kind of do feel they are 
uh, getting rid of the gay story yeah. line. First of all, we don't have Freddie. We didn't have. We don't have Chandler. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think once Chandler was gone, and that kind of moral center y kind of thing, mm-hmm. and then they kind of switched the character to be more like a Sammy child, mm-hmm. and we had Guy. Um, I think that kind of went south a little yeah. bit, and then Freddie left, and this leaving Paul. I think, you know, I, I just think you're right. Yeah, I feel like. I also think that they're doing a big push. If you look at what they're doing, it's really important to them in at Days of Our Lives to really get the be the Days of Our Lives that people remember. Yeah, that's true. That seems to be what they're trying to do. However, mm-hmm. when I'm watching some of the stuff, which I want to get to, um, you know, when I watch some of the like Ben killing people into Bo with the Hannibal Lecter thing <laughs> in the yeah, face, I'm crazy. like, what am I watching? Yeah, right. But I love, yeah. but I like it. But it was like, whoa, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're going that way with mm-hmm. it into the creepy danger thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but but I wonder if that's part of the reason that the gay story isn't being told because they're trying to return to some of the roots. I do think it's disappointing, and I think it's sad, and I think it's bad. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, but I don't know. I mean. It's it's really hard when I loved so much the wedding. Yeah, I know. But the wedding the, but was the, beautiful. But, they, was but, beautiful. The, but they've that couple isn't the way they were. No. There's a lot has happened, and I do think couples can work their way back. Yes, as we've seen with John and Marlena, Bo and Hope, yeah. even Kayla, like the classics. But I also feel like yes, they they are trying to get it back to that classic days. But I feel like we're in a different time. And so, so many things have happened that, for me, for instance, with the Bo and Hope thing, it's going to be hard for me to see Bo and Hope together because okay. I feel like so much time has passed. I feel like sh- we've seen her kind of go through the loss of Bo. And so now, again, being the fan that's just open arms and saying accept it, and then I'll see if I like it. Um, when he comes back, am I supposed to be like, oh, yay, this is the couple I want to see? Well, you know, I'm having that problem right now with um, Adrian and and Justin. I'm actually rooting for Adrian and Lucas. Never and been week, on board with Adrian and Lucas. And I never was either. I called him Mucus when I first started. I hated the storyline. But now, I don't see chemistry with... I mean, I was. I mean, I watched them all those years when he had chemistry. I don't see it now. I see when Lucas took her this week and was like, you're upset, let's go on a boat ride. I mean, it's, it's like, I see the chem- I see chemistry. Well, this is always the Still danger. This is always the danger. <laughs> <laughs> you're not on board? Boat okay. ride... <laughs> Hand holding, hand holding. Waffle wait, wait, wait you're, you're on board. No, not on board. board. So I, you want who? I really don't see them with anyone right now, but I definitely don't see them together. <laughs> you mean Adrian and Adrian Lucas? Lucas yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of forced. <laughs> yeah, it's really oh, forced. And then, like so it. what is the deal? So, do you think she's going to with? But she's going to have a, a double mastectomy to you know prevent the cancer? Like, oh, I don't know what's you know. That leading. came out of the blue too. They came out of blue. They're leading. Because I thought I forgot that the real life actress who played their mother died in real life. Joy Garrett. I thought she was dead for real on the show too. I didn't know. So she called her like, "How's talking to her mother from the grave?" But I was like, "Oh no, she's alive, mm-hmm. just off camera." Um, I think they're leading that direction. I think Judy Evans could pull it off. Oh, that's they, not what I'm talking about. Do, like, they do, they do but, it right. but, but like, is Lucas going to be the person that's there yeah. for her and yeah. Justin? And it's just, I don't know. Um, I, I think when, to the point you were making about Bo and Hope, um, I do want to see Bo and Hope. Um, but I think the the trick to doing these things that they're doing, putting back Patch and Kayla, Bo and Hope, bringing back these storied couples, there's always the danger of it won't work. Yeah, that's the key. When there's too oh, much who is not going to work with. <laughs> I'm past it. Like I, I mean, oh, I'm, Bo and Hope. I, Bo and Hope. Well, I wasn't around with Steve and Kayla. Oh, you were there. Uh, John and Marlena. I'm always a fan of because you know that's like. I mean, listen. I'm like, let them be together because y'all have been through the ringer. They like, have. just be together, be happy, right off into the sunset, boat, skydive, waffle yes. house, whatever it is yes. you guys want to do. But I don't know. I'm starting to see like different couples together. Like I'm starting to see. Justin and Eve, or oh, man, or mm-hmm. Aiden and um, and Hope, or even Rafe and Hope, um, or um, yeah. I I actually liked Paul and Sonny, or yeah. Yeah. Paul with Derek. Yeah, um, like I'm seeing all these different ways that they can like progress and move forward. I get that also. I get it because I mean, if you put the couples back together, all you're going to have to do is create storylines to keep them apart, put them back, and so we're going to see this push and pull 
the whole time. And that's what they've always Done. been known for. Right. Right. So that, again, I think the big push was mm-hmm. trying to go back to those mm-hmm. iconic couples, yes. bringing them together, pulling them apart. Mm-hmm. Bringing, that's kind of what they yeah, were known they for. Were known so for. I think that's what they're trying to do. And that may be why the gay storyline isn't part of it. I, and also, I think, again, we've got actor issues going on there, too, like mm-hmm. people coming and going. Um, so we'll see. I will be with open arms, and I will accept <laughs> what it is Days gives me, and then I will decide whether I like it or not. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Cheryl Hawk. I think you can correct me. Marilyn McIntyre played her last. I just, I guess, I was, I was so much into You're Joy wrong. Garrett. I guess she wrote it in, in capital letters for me. So thank oh, you. Boy. Marilyn McIntyre <laughs> did play her. She did play her. I, I, but I was more Joy Garrett fan. I guess that's why I was looking at her. And then real quick before we go into tidbits. Um, Abigail getting ready for her wedding and planning yes. and the dresses. Okay, so this was my thought when the dresses came out. Yes. Jennifer, are these dresses from past, like, because, you know, Salem has had yes. no shortage of, like, marriages. <laughs> right. No. So, like, where are these dresses coming from? Like, do you have a closet just with everyone's dress and Probably. you're just, like, pulling them out for Abigail to, like, try on and be like, girl, you don't have to spend money on a new dress. Listen, this is the one Sammy wore when she got, when she was about to marry Austin, Branded but then Carrie came Austin, in. Exactly oh, look, right. this yeah. is the one brand. Oh, look, this is the one when I had, yes. or, you know, like, yeah. mm. and I, and I kind of, I was with Abigail. She was like, I want my own dress. Thank like, you. I, And I was like, yes, girl, get your own dress because everyone else I has actually, got their own dress. I actually liked Kate in those scenes. Mm. Kate Manzi. She's yeah. like, you know, getting upset. Like, I want my own thing. Yeah. It's like my thing. And right. it was special. Mm-hmm. I wanted it for me. Mm-hmm. Which is real. Which is real. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Um, and then I was like, I'm going to call Eve. It's like, all right. And then Eve drawing the dress yes. and then being Teresa. like, Teresa, Teresa, I'm Teresa. sorry, Teresa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will you please call Dr. <laughs> Salinas? <laughs> I'm really He's worried. He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right oh now. Oh my god! I've now. I need Dr. Salinas. Um, <laughs> but I, I kind of, I kind of like uh, that. I kinda Teresa. Like the, the yeah, Teresa I just thought it was funny that Teresa went in. I'm going to wear this dress. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. Uh, well, and then speaking of Teresa yeah. and dresses, that brings us into to the whole basic black yes. uh, team. Yes. I'm on board with this team. Me too. Like hands but, down, hands down. But why do they treat Teresa like an intern? Oh my god, that was so funny. You Brady noticed that when they, they were all Brady talking over each other, it was hilarious. Yeah. It was hilarious. That was great. Well, yeah. you, well, it was just Kate and Nicole. Like, right. oh no, yeah, right. the the CP3s will not work this year. Well, you're gonna have to up the market. And then, well, no, we shouldn't buy. And then, okay, so about the designs. No, no. Can you get us some coffee? Oh yeah, I have Henderson. No, 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 no. It'll, it'll come quicker right. if you get it. Right. And then. Brady's just watching mm-hmm. this from the steps. I'm sure he's getting a kick out of oh, this. At first, he was kind of like, that's not good. Yeah. That's but not good. Come on. I don't know. And then, of course, she goes back to trying to figure out how I she know. can get Brady. Girl, let Brady go. <laughs> Be married to your designs. Be in love I, with your designs and Tate. I just want <laughs> one of my favorites, Lauren Coslow, to have something to do. Yeah, like, of course. I really, yeah. we're, what's going on? Yeah. Right. Like, it's got to be more than this. Yeah, right, of course. Yeah. yeah. Well... <laughs> There was also a point where I was like, how many businesses have Kate, has Kate I know. ran? Oh, my God, I know. Like, at what point do you say, you know what? I have enough knowledge and, and skill. I'm just going to start my own thing. But yeah. she's always buying into something. Yeah, she is. She's talented. I mean, she obviously can run companies and destroy them. And Well, they have to well, put her with somebody. I mean, yeah. she can't just be like... On her own. There, there's just, nobody to talk to or do right. anything with. Well, this is true. <laughs> Well, I don't know. There was that little connection with with Eduardo. Oh, I know. That they, she had they, in the coffee. They need to explore that. I <laughs> they need to okay, explore that. Let's Yeah. They need to. Yeah. They're going Two to great actors that just I think one. that's going to happen. Oh, okay. She's I, gonna I, I, I think that is going to happen. She's gonna sympathize with them and just find his hotness. Both. I I hope so. She was with Ray, so why not? With the father, why not? That's what I hope, and then Ray finds Ooh, out. Ray's like, oh, you're sleeping with my father. I liked Rafe and Kate together, though. I was, no, I was, a, big, I was a big Rafe and Kate too, fan. And I'm saying they I did like that. I was too, and I, I really liked that. Yeah. yeah. Well, they do that, so kind of funny. And we have to mention Andre, of course, because everybody on the chat was like, Andre, Andre. Yes, Andre is back, and Tail Pangolis is back in full swing. But, uh, <laughs> somewhat in full what swing. What kind of? Yeah, it's it's kind of. Kind of yeah, okay. So. We've got Stefano with the oxygen tank. <laughs> Your favorite. My yes. favorite. <laughs> yes. Because he's not saying anything, oh. obviously. And then Teo running around doing his thing. Yes. So what did you think about the fact that he's the son and not... I mean, doesn't that... Bu- 
What do you think about we that? We talked about that last week. I'm actually. sorry, I, I didn't see that. No, 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 I'm, no, saying, no. I'm saying that there was someone we were talking about last week that was saying it was confused, his past was confusing because he was a cousin, him and Tony were cousins, but he was made to look like Tony, or was he was Tony made to look I mean, it was this whole confusing. And they're referring to Tony DeMera, not me. Right, yeah, yeah, Tony DeMera, sorry. But I'm saying that was, his whole past is confusing. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think Tony was the more popular one right. in terms of the story, and Andre kind of came in as the intel, kind of the, the right. person. So I don't know. I mean, it's fine, I guess. I mean,. I kind of like Tim and Chad's little push and pull for a minute. That was kind of right. Fun. So I love yeah. the thing I loved about <laughs> Who are you? it. Yeah, Who are you? I loved. I actually loved. I loved Billy Flynn because yes. I loved. He was like, "Who are you? What are you yeah. doing? Why should I trust you? Yeah. Who are you?" He's like, "I'm your brother." Well, tell like, right. I'm well, like, well, tell father, brother. I'm I'm taking a hundred thousand. You're right. <laughs> On the way I'll out. pay him back. On the way out. This is Golden Boy yeah. two point We called it. it. Was so funny. But it's like I kind of like that little exchange. And yeah. what do you think, Andre's? What do you think's going on? Is he Andre? I feel See, like, Tony. well, I don't know. It, it seems like they're setting him up to to take over. Yeah, like he's the because, head of Because, I mean, listen, Stefano. I mean, okay, I know. We love Joseph Mascolo. We love him, yes, of course. But, I mean. Well, I think that's what, <laughs> when I'm seeing what I'm seeing. Yeah. It's obviously Joe, who I love. Yes. You know. You know, kind probably of passing not, the reins. Well, probably not being able to do as much right now. Yeah. So they have to have somebody be that that power instigator that yeah, can yeah. do those scenes. Yeah. And they brought in tail. Yeah. Um, who I love, and he does, and he does it with such glee. He's a different kind of mirror because he's so he's like the upper crust kind of mirror, and he also does humor. Mm-hmm. It's like something about him. He kind of and, and Billy Flynn plays Chad with a kind of like kind of humor and uh, and kind of snarkiness. I think it's I think it's a good little um, Demir brother thing. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. It's not just because EJ was always so serious and so like just like mm, I want to be I want to be head Demir and uh, you know I want to respect where Andre and Teo plays them in a way like. I have respect, and I come. You should just already have, have respect for me as I walk through the door, and I'm going to do something that could be a little on the side. You never know what it might happen with what I, what I might do. Yeah. He's kind of off the rails a little bit. You don't right. know what he's going to do. Well, we'll see where that goes. Yeah, but I kind of like Tim and Chad meeting. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course, definitely. Keep losing his kids. There you go. And you can't bring him back to life. I know. Like that's it. Yeah. Although we're all waiting for EJ. They're all come back yeah. to life. They all come back to life at some point. Did Andre die? Yeah, exactly. Right. They, they all times? die. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they all die about. and they come back. Right. So I think they're all on their like sixth or seventh life by now. So right. they got they got a couple of more. They got a couple of more. Um, do we need to go over any? Because we've already touched kinda, on We kind of covered all those things. Yeah. I, mean, I, I just want to say, because Tony and I talked about this actually off camera, it just made us laugh when Hope made a phone call and got a $100,000 road check. Yeah, for, for Aiden. Aiden. Oh, uh, right. She's One like, second. let me make a phone call. <laughs> I know what I want to say. Say it. This really bugged me. Um, and I don't get it. So, basically, so there's the Monopoly game with Sierra and Little <laughs> yes, Chase. Yes. Now, all I'm thinking in my mind here is, how is this going to work? Are they just going to walk down the stairs one day as the new <laughs> 20 teen group? Because literally they're like, okay, we're playing. I'm going to protect you, yes. too. Mm-hmm. And then what? Next week they're going to be, because it's coming up, yeah, they're yeah, just going to be oh, like, yeah. have grown 15 years. So, yes. I don't understand how they're playing them right now. I mean, right. I wouldn't have had them on. Exactly. You yeah. have a little break Not from that I don't love Sierra. Or, uh, what you know? Yeah, Lauren, Lauren Balls. We, Lauren Balls. Uh, we I love all her. love her. I, I love her. She's I like, do love her, Lauren Balls. Um, I do. The thing is, I just it didn't make. It was yeah, kind of like, how are they going to get out of this? Obviously, they're going to go the part of now is being mm-hmm. played by do to do to do. But you know what? Most soaps they usually have them off camera for a while. But that can't be then, happening. I know. That's what my point is. Right. It can't be happening like that. So what is it like next week? All of a sudden, we're going to see obviously because because, so. because so. it has to be. If right. that happens, I'm going to giggle. <laughs> well, I know they're coming probably. on in October. Yeah. I mean, one's coming on in October right. and one in November. I'm going to giggle. We just saw them playing Monopoly, like, <laughs> him hugging Like them. last week. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, if this week Adult Sierra <laughs> comes in, I'm going to giggle because I'm going to say last week you were like 10. <laughs> okay, what's going on with Aiden? Um, Do we? Well, all of his debts got paid. Yes. I know that by the okay. Demiras. So this is what's confusing. It's like right. Stefano was all like, "I'm not dealing with you. You're cut off. Yes. Mission aborted. Whatever. <laughs> aborted. And then like all of a sudden, it's like he goes through the trouble of like getting the money from from Hope and, then he and keeps everything the money. like that. And then he keeps. But then it's it, where it gets confusing is that all his debts are paid, but yet he's we like, still own you. Yeah, he's like, but. And if I was eight, and I was like, no, you don't. Here you go. Right. Here goes your money. Yeah. I got the right. rest. Like, you know, here you go. I'm cool. Bye. Right. Right. But I don't I, I don't know what they're doing with him. Well, he kind of said, I thought he did also say something like, well, just hope no, that's not all the money you owe. 
from when he borrowed a hundred thousand, like you should have borrowed more. I guess I don't know what's going on either. I'm kind of like it's something. There's something strange. Yeah, I, to I keep them tied together. To keep them tied together. I just assume, you mean the Demiras and him? And him. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just assume it's another piece of land somewhere <laughs> that in Scotland that time. he's trying to get or some. I just I just don't understand why this big elaborate plan to they dropped woo it. hope and get her to marry him. Yes. Like, what's that for? And does he really love her now? They haven't showed that to us either. They haven't given us like a little off camera well, thing. Well, it's interesting like, like, when, I ta- when I talk to uh, Christian, when I talk to the actors, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, he really does love her. And I oh, go, okay. he does? Yeah, I can't tell. You I know, can't tell. I can't tell either. either. He's, a, he's in turmoil right yeah. now. Yeah. I, can't, I can't tell if he does. Yeah. I mean, and obviously, you know, all of this is hard to watch because we know he's leaving. So yeah. it's like, you know, these people are all leaving. Another and, fine actor. Uh, is he going to be the next victim? Oh, Aiden. Because he did work with Chad and that whole thing, and maybe... And that maybe like, something no. goes awry. Too soon. Too oh. soon. Okay. No. I, I, <laughs> listen. Oh, we have to have a wedding. We you have to know, have you got to have the wedding and Bo come, come in. in. That's true. I mean, isn't uh, Because remember, the wedding is going to yes, be at the yeah, Bicentennial. Yeah, yeah. So yes. whatever yes. is going to happen, out, yes. however they're going to out whatever, you know, whatever happens with him, yeah. I think has to happen during the wedding. Oh, right? Jess J says, Lauren Bowles confirmed that that was her last episode. Thank you very much. Team Sierra and Chase don't air until October 30th. That's so what I said, October, late got October. Yeah, yep. that's, I agree. Thanks, Jess. Yep, Jess. Yeah. Okay, how funny. That was it. Oh, I loved her. I want, I want to see her grow up on the but show, But I'm too. just saying what are, I mean, here's the joke of that. <laughs> yes. They're not moving the story. We're not moving, like, fast forward five years. No. Remember when Guiding Light did it? Yes, the, I do remember I that. I hated that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I do remember when he did that. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they're oh not moving everything else. Yes. Everyone's yelling, it's Will! <laughs> Everybody says it's Will. They say he's not. Yeah, I'm kind of with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so, and the last little tidbit before we yes. uh, move on, before they give us the rap music. Um, <laughs> Lonnie Price and yes. Abe. Yes. Um, Lonnie meeting Abe for the first time, and yes. Abe saying, "Have I met you before?" Now I don't. I don't want to be this person. Yes. But I'm going do to it, do it. Do it. Do it. Do <laughs> it. I'm with you 100. Um, percent Do it. Abe, there are not that many. Um, how can I put this? African American people in Salem. You're right. And I think if you would have met Lonnie, you would have yeah. remembered her. Yeah. Oh, the brown person? Yeah, you would have known her. Yeah. Listen, I keep tabs on all of them. I'm trying to figure out <laughs> see, I wasn't how even thi- I, I wasn't thought even, that way immediately. I, see, I wasn't even thinking it was a brown, black, yeah. that's, purple thing. That's what I, I thought. Was not. Now, at first I thought, oh, like, he probably sees, like, the mother mm-hmm. and is kind of like something's very familiar right. about her. Right. But then I thought, Abe, come on now. Yeah. Like, you know. Okay, but wait a minute. She, there's something with her. Yeah. There is something yeah. with her. She knows little, him. Yeah. She, she knows, knows him. him. She knows yeah. him. And do we know... For sure, what side of the law she's on? I wonder if she's on the on the other side. That's I don't true. even know. Like the bad side. The bad side. We don't know if she's planted in there as a cop, Ooh. which is one of my theories, and I don't know this. Or is she a goody two shoes? And oh, and then I'm thinking, and then I'm thinking, we remember when I did my a Google Hangout chat mm-hmm. with A and Galen. Yeah. Galen teased because I said, "Well, he's not with Hope." And he teased there's going to be somebody he's, you know, having sex with. And what, it's got to be her. I'm thinking yeah. it's her. Mm. I'm thinking they're going to ha- end up, like, doing something. Oh, I can see that. No, I can totally see that. Yeah. Okay. But, then, but then what's the obsession with Abe? Yeah. And the only thing that I can think of is a kid. Yeah. has to be a kid. That Which, she's the daughter? Yeah. Or, yeah, she's the daughter of an old character that was on 100 years ago. Right. right that he doesn't even remember he, he remember. had mm-hmm. sex with. And all yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. Pre-Lexi. Hopefully. Pre-Lexi. Or do you think they're okay. gonna that those two would be a couple? Older, younger? I think we could do it. Mm-mm. Okay. So mm-hmm. I'm betting Rafe Lonnie. Okay. As a, you know, I don't know about the hope rape thing because there's yeah, yeah, more yeah, things yeah. to have to go through. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. I think that could be a hookup. Yeah, okay. I can I can see that, but I, I I'm sensing a daughter, Lonnie. They're all think. Who cares? Thank God. Have think the heavens. Abe has a storyline. <laughs> That's what Jay said. <laughs> what, what story thank the heavens. Thank whatever, the heavens. Whatever, whatever will get him on. <laughs> all right. So that has been your week of days, and now we're going to go into our segment, and we're going to start with mine, the official three snaps award. Now, Ooh. I am going to actually break up. Each snap. <laughs> so you're breaking your hand? No, no, no. Each each snap goes to the same person, but it's for different reasons. Okay. okay. So the th- the three snaps award goes to Cassie because 
She gets one snap just for the amazing work that she's done yes. this week. Yes. Can we all snap? Yes. For her? So, snap one. <laughs> that was right. bad. Okay, yeah. one. Snap two is for at the funeral when Teresa was losing it and she looks at her and says, get it together. <laughs> snap for that. And then the third and final snap is during the reception after the funeral where she completely snaps and she loses it and Teresa's like, calm down, just talk. And she's like, I don't want to talk. I want to yell. Snap. So she gets my official three snaps award for this week yes. for all of those three points. She does. That's a good one. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, by the way, we didn't say this real quickly. I really loved the my favorite part of Cassie DePaiba's Eve was that last scene on Friday when she just lost it yeah. in front of everybody. That, I thought, was great. So that she could put on an Emmy reel. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I mean, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a but lot. That, but but that yeah. moment was yeah. the one of all the moments yeah. that was like... There's a culmination. For, for of, me, yeah. that well, was I great. Cried. I was crying. So. And um, you know, you know, she knows what I think of her. So. Yes, yes. Yeah. She's she's amazing. She and crazy for Cassie it. knows. Crazy, crazy for Cassie. Crazy for Cassie. I, Cassie. I read your tweets, Cassie. Yes, Cassie. She knows yes. too. Um, and now we're gonna go and find <laughs> out who's related. James Law Jr. Yes, where's, the, where's my camera? Hi, you guys. So, um, as we get closer to the uh, 50th anniversary of Days of Our Lives in another month or so, I've been doing some special Look Who's Related related to the show itself. So, this week's Look Who's Related is Days of Our Lives, Young and the Restless, and Bold and the Beautiful. Hmm. So, you wonder how I mentioned all three soaps together. Well, Days of Our Lives was started by Ted and Betty Corday, of course, King Corday's parents, and, in 1965. The earliest storylines were written by William J. Bell. He did most of the early storylines. He brought sexuality onto soaps. Well, what they called back in the 60s sexuality. And they also, between the three of them, combined the first hospital soap opera family that actually had a family life and also hospital life, which has been adapted to so many things since then. So, um, but Days of Our Lives started in 1965. J, William J. Bell started uh, Young and the Restless in 72 and Bold and the Beautiful in 87. So that's who's related. Oh. You know what? I was wondering when you sent that over. I mm -hmm. was like, what's going on? Is he showing us all the rest of the shows? <laughs> I was like, I'm trying to follow. Yeah. See, but did it work? Yeah. See, did it work? Yeah. Yeah. So I okay. I, I always go home afterwards and replay this and, like, I go Try to my to evidence out. board. <laughs> and like I draw everything out. I, by the way, I have an evidence board at my home. <laughs> I'm scared. And I'm scared. sit in front of it. I'm and scared. Go, this one, this one. Yes, I'm scared. It's so <laughs> and funny. I stare at it. And of course, since Mark is living the high life of a newly engaged Mrs. Billy Flynn in Niagara Falls, um, he did not uh, disappoint you guys, and he has sent in a video with his quote of the week. So let's take a look at that. Hello, everybody. It's me. I'm getting ready to leave for Niagara Falls to see Billy. And I just wanted to quickly give you my quote of the week. My quote of the week this week will be going to Anne Milbauer. Oh, yeah. In her scene with yes. uh -huh. Teresa, when uh, they're talking about <clears throat> Teresa and how she's changed and everything now that she's a mother. Um, she says to Teresa, and I quote, that's the whole point of living here, in the house of judgment and sl slut-shaming, right? So Ann Milbauer, <laughs> the Ann Milbauer. Yeah. Hope you guys are having fun, and I will see you when I return. Yay! If I return. Oh, why? Thank you, Mark J. Freeman, yeah. aka Mark J. Flynn. Oh, All right, so <laughs> let's go into a bit of news and gossip. So we have one piece of oh. news that we've that's, that's new. That's new. Oh, yeah, I'm going yeah. I'm going into your thing. Oh yeah. That me and Tony are going to be there. So it's going to be yes. a lot of fun. We have a good time. It is actually dual coast events event in Boston on October 17th. That's in two weeks. That's it. Two weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. two weeks. Um, and it's uh, with Rob Wilson, Eric Martzoff, Galen Gehring, Billy Flynn, Sean Christopher, and Freddie Smith. So I'm very excited. This is going to be really good. And tickets are available on dualcoastevents.com. So we're going to be there, too. So you got to come see yes. us. Yes. If you're in the area, in the, in the East Coast, do it. Come see us. Come do it. Please. Um, also, uh, Stars Canada events uh, in Canada will have an event with Greg Vaughn and Chandler Massey on October 24th. So if you want to join them on a lovely yacht boat, 
Uh, yeah, well, that's fine, right? Just like a yacht. Just a yacht. yacht. Just a yacht. Sure. Uh, <laughs> visit StarsCanadaEvents.com for details and tickets. Um, and I'm sure Daquan is very excited about He's on right now too. this little tidbit. Uh, but the one and only Miss Allison Sweeney yes. makes her return on October 12th. Everyone's wondering how long she's going to be yeah, on the I show. Know. Even Allison tweeted, how long do you think I'm going to be on? It's like, Allison, do you not know how long you're going to be on? What are you doing, Allison? Um, I, I, I just hope that, like, you know, she went away and, and just had a break and yes. just, you know. Right. But needed, she, needed some time to just but you know, I can't do things imagine. and then, like, bring her back for a while. She's busy on Hallmark Channel. No, but what I'm saying as far as Sammy goes, yes. if our... Yes. Pr- uh, pr- pr- prediction holds yes. true that Will gets killed. Yes. Mm-hmm. I, and she's already lost EJ. Yes. I would think this would be so extremely devastating for yes. her that she would need the support of her family. But of course, maybe she'll have to leave and go get right. herself together. Yeah. Um, but I think she'll, I, I can't imagine she wouldn't be there for the 50th anniversary episodes. Right. Yeah. I, I, don't know. I mean, she, she, I would assume that she would be there. You can't, you can't do that without. If she, if, if this thing does happen to that person, Wait till those. Wait till well, those. On scenes. my board. I know you're bored. Wait till those scenes. Oh, Allison Smith is going to just tear it out. I have to say, you know, Allison. One of the things I love about her, you know, and over the years being at Days, and you know, she's such a great champion of that show. Yes, mm-hmm. Like she's always the one. We, we would, there were lunches and things, and she'd always be the one filming it and getting all the pictures and yeah. doing all the Instagram. I mean, she's such a champion of that show. So I, I hope she's back for as long as they can yeah. possibly have her back, yeah. for, which I'm sure yeah. that they're doing. I agree. Speaking of Sammy, it's a great. It's a great way to segue into you. Um, there was a great thing which was brought to my attention on last week uh, last week tonight with John Oliver which Next is on Next Picture Marissa yep. which is on oh hey which is on HBO and it's such a great it's a funny show hey, Gene. and they actually did a e-jammy reunion on that show cause, because because we make sure I get this correctly 16 year old Syrian refugee no John New Mustafa, Jean, New Jean, Mustafa Mustafa thank you yeah the dream came to you and John Oliver on HBO's last night Allison Sweetie and James Scott got together to do a phony faux scene of EJ and Sam United. So, New Jean learned English, I guess, by watching Days, mm-hmm. which is it's amazing, which, you know, happens, and was devastated when EJ died and Sammy left town. So, uh, John Oliver and his producers made it happen, and they yeah. actually, and the actors came back. It's posted on our Audition Days Facebook page. I posted it, like, four, three, four days ago. Mm-hmm. It's actually a lot of fun. So, yep. go check it out on there. It's really, it's a lot of fun. And then you did see her reaction video. Yeah, you I see did. that, too. You know, touching. It's, like, totally touching. Yeah, I mean, you know, the whole thing was it started, ABC broke that first, that there was this, there was this refugee trying to get to Germany trying to get to Europe wow. and she was disabled in a wheelchair and she learned how to speak in the two days of our lives and uh, but the whole thing has taken on its life of its own now yeah, yeah. you know what I mean and it's days of our lives it's, like, it's right. a soap it's a soap thing and everybody's asking what's so interesting it's so funny because people are asking me how is she watching days of our lives in Syria <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's they do a, have things over there that work, right? Yes, you know, there's computers and laptops and things. Well, and I TVs. think certain things you can't see in certain countries. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm saying so there, there's probably a way that yeah, that's she, got it. Yeah. Ooh, was she watching it underground? <laughs> underground. So I don't know how she's learning. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, let me tell you, she learned a lot. <laughs> yes, she did. Especially Bussy, those two. But it was a great. It was. I love. It was a great thing for us fans too. And uh, speaking of uh, two other people, we have uh, Brian Detillo and Melissa Archer uh, will now be featured on the web series Youthful Days. Um, Brian will play Eric, and Melissa will be playing Monica Reynolds. And new episodes will premiere in February of 2016. Um, also, um, we all know that Freddie Smith left. Uh, Days um, for a bit, but he has been very busy. Uh, he just directed a horror film um, and just released a trailer for it, um, and it's called Hiker. And Hiker centers around a group of college students who enter the woods to film a workout segment, but then some of them begin to wander off, which is where the eerie excitement begins. And you actually wrote about this on, your, on your blog. I as did because well. I use the GoPro cameras that they stick on the helmets mm-hmm. to try to really make it seem like real, like mm-hmm. you're watching the point of perspective of like you're watching it through the person eyes yeah. of what's going on. And it's obviously a takeoff on a, on a horror flight. Yeah. Um, it was interesting because a lot of the fans were like, this is what he's doing now. <laughs> but, you know, Freddie is very much into producing and creating and directing and doing other things. I mean, he's a very, I mean, that's what he likes to do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how this turns out. Yeah. 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 Well, if you guys want to watch the trailer, make sure you go visit our Facebook page, Dish and Days, and we will post it on there. Yes. Or also take a look at Michael's um, 
um, website. <laughs> yes. yes, MichaelFairmanSoaps.com. That's right. And he has information on it there for all of the news regarding days. Make he has sure all kinds of stuff on there. Yeah. This is like there. the guru of And it's yeah. getting very juicy coming up. Lots yeah. of stuff. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of Freddie Smith, <laughs> you guys have asked for him, and we are finally able to deliver. Um, yes. Freddie Smith will be joining us before Edition Days on this Sunday, October 11th. That's we right. will have a oh. spotlight on yes. interview with him at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very good. Um, so make sure you guys tune in. We're going to talk to him, catch up, find out all the things that have been happening since he left Days. And is that live? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be live. That's great timing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be great. You guys, you guys are all Maybe I'll it. show up and hang out in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> By the door. By, By the, the door. door. Michael, come on in. Michael, come on in. Knock on our door. <laughs> yeah. It's um, exciting. Also, as you guys know, we bring these spotlights, uh, spotlight on interviews because we're celebrating Days 50th and we like to go back and bring back some old yes, cast members and yes, revisit with them. And so also this uh, Wednesday, October 14th, or not this Wednesday, but the following Wednesday. Wait, no, it's this Wednesday. It's this Wednesday. Uh, did no, I it's not. Wrong, you did the wrong date. I did the wrong date. Date, but it's Wednesday. This Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, we will have uh, Patricia <laughs> Darbo. See, this it's is what happens when you're like 14. doing 10 billion things. And yeah. so, <laughs> this Wednesday, this Are Wednesday, you this needing Dr. Salinas too? <laughs> I am. I am. He's I am, Dr. I am, Salinas. I am He's eating needing, dinner right now. I am He's needing Dr. Salinas. Salinas. <laughs> so this Wednesday, October 7th, Seven. That's we will have Patricia Darbo, who yes. played Nancy Wesley, come in and join us and talk to us and find out what her time was like on days. So make sure you tune in live at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So stay up late and, yeah. and watch it live. And us. I'm going to bring a picture of me and her from nearly 20 years ago when I met her. Uh -huh. So you can see I look like 20 years ago, the same. Yeah, yeah, the same. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, no. Oh, man. We, yeah, well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Well, we'll show it. Yeah. Um, and then, well, predictions. We've already kind of talked about yeah. uh, what could. We yes. all know that the killer's going to strike again next everybody's, week. Yeah, everybody's killer talking. next week. So, big yeah. deal. You're going to be big. You're going to be big. Yeah. It's going to be big. I, these like death scenes that they're now showing, they're so eerie. Yeah. I, by the way, I have to tell you, what I love about it, they are eerie. Yes. But again, I loved that they have taken on that far with it because mm -hmm. that makes it feel a little more prime time to me, yes. a little more yes. like we'd see on a procedural crime drama. That's true. Yes. That's true. I think that's a good move. I agree. Uh, I did, like I said, and then the Bo Hannibal Lecter thing, I don't know. That was weird, yeah. Yeah. Did we talk about who we think Scott Bo? No. No. What do you think? I still ha I, I can't I put can't, the pieces yeah, of the puzzle to that yet. I'm not sure. It it all seems weird because like I had to look up the whole like Britta and the tattoo, Britta and the thing. I, yeah, and I was just like, what is that? And I, e I even uh, messaged James. I was like, oh, we gotta talk about this because I don't know what it is. I had to like look right. it up. So I don't know. I I, I, I'm liking what they're doing with it, just giving us little by little and, yeah. and all that, but I don't know. I, I, I'm starting, maybe if I'm putting the lines together, I don't know, I feel like, I don't want to say the Damaris have something to do with it, but I feel like they have I something to do with it. I feel like uh, that Andre character yeah. Yeah. Who, it, it has yeah. something major yeah, to do with I it. Agree. That's my feeling, Me and too. I'm just saying my feeling. Yeah. 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 Because I, there's yeah. got to be, why is he there? Right. Why is he there? And then, uh, it, yeah. it, I feel like it ties in with the whole, Andre, Stefano, Aiden. 50th anniversary. Bold, Bold, anniversary. All of that. Time. Yes. Yes. So, Caroline. Yes. yes. So, it does. It does. So the line, the line has officially started. We're now just waiting to connect dots. Yes. So I like that. That's good. That's good. All right. And that has been Dish and Days. Before we head out, of course, we want to let you guys know where we can connect with you guys and how you can connect with us. So, Mr. V. Michael Fairman. Yeah, Michael Michael Fairman. Fairman. I'm, but I'm not at the. I'm at, at Michael Fairman on Twitter. Uh, Michael Fairman on Facebook and Michael Fairman on air on soaps on Facebook. Instagram is Michael Fairman underscore on air on soaps. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and my website is Michael Fairman soaps dot com is the URL. Yes. But it's yeah. Michael Fairman on air on soaps. Just, just, to, just, just to throw that in, confuse just everybody. Google Michael Fairman. Just Google all this stuff and, will come up. Well, so no, don't do that because sometimes the old actor oh. comes up. Oh, that's right. Oh. We, have, we have a picture together. We have a picture together. I love it. I love it. That's well, because he took my name. That's so it's funny. a true story. Oh, okay. If you, did you read the ever read the interview? Go no. to my website and read the oh, interview. Okay, with Fairman read interviews Fairman. Okay, I will do that. You'll I find out. It. You'll find out the dirty, the sordid history of it. Okay, oh. I will. Actually, I'm going to tonight. And of course, James Law Jr., where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at Black Hope LA. That's B L A K H O P L A. James Law Jr. on Facebook. 
Now, I'm staying on for another hour or so for GH Report. So if you're a GH fan, you stay on because we will be here. Tony? Yes. And, of course, you guys can find me on all social media platforms at Lounging with Tony or my website, loungingwithtony.com. And don't forget, get us up to 1,900 yes. uh, likes on Facebook and 500 followers on Instagram. And we have a whole slew of stuff that we want to give away to you. Thank you guys for tuning in. We had over 100 people watching Woo! us live. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So continue supporting us. Continue liking us continue sharing our links and we will see you next Sunday for our Freddie Smith interview at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and another round of Dishon Days. Days From executive producers Maria Menounos Kevin Undergaro Phil Svitek and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network to watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 